Hello everyone, it's your girl Rain. Anyways, today we will be tackling all about photography. So, according to Noble Dust Cup in 2016, photography involves creating an image by recording light with a camera and offers various possibilities of editing through software. Uh, photography actually captures the world, it captures moments and interprets your surroundings. Now, let's get into it. It all began in the 19th century. It was called the daguerreotype photography. It is a direct positive method that produces an extremely finely detailed image on a copper sheet that has been lightly coated in silver without the need for a negative. Now, the next technological advancement was introduced by William Henry Fox Talbot. This negative positive process called the calotype process. In this technique, a sheet of paper coated with silver chloride was exposed to a light in a camera obscura. Those areas hit by light became dark in tone, yielding a negative image. Next, we have the wet plate process. Negatives made of glass rather than paper brought a new level of clarity and detail to photographic printing. It was discovered in 1851 by Frederick Scott Archer. The dry plate negative or the gelatin-based negative. In the 1880 to 1920, gelatin-based negative made of silver that is placed on glass to hold materials that are sensitive to light. Large sheets of glass are machine coated in a single step with an emulsion created by mixing gelatin with light sensitive components. After that, the glass sheets are trimmed to the appropriate sizes. Then, the brownie camera was introduced. The camera that started it all was a leather-covered card box with a wooden film carrier. The original had no finder but did have V sighting lines on top. A clip-on accessory reflecting finder became available from August in the 1900s. Barnack's invention made history visible in the form of photos from 1913 to the present. The art of photography gained from the simplicity of use compared to the bulky glass plates of before. Storytelling and photojournalism, which possessed the power to change minds and overthrow regimes, found their power in the 35mm film. And now we have color photography. Color photography emerging in the 1930s to the 1950s typically involved using color film containing layers of light-sensitive emulsions, each sensitive to different color wavelengths, allowing the recording and reproduction of a full spectrum of colors in a single photograph. And digital camera started in 1961. It replaced traditional film with electronic sensors that captured and converted light into digital information. And finally, to the present day, we have our 21st century smartphone. Smartphone cameras. The integration of advanced cameras into smartphones has made photography democratizing the art form and enabling instant sharing across the globe. And now that we journeyed through the technological milestones, let's explore how these advancements impacted society and visual culture. Photography became a time capsule documenting historical events, personal memories, and everyday life. It became a powerful tool for shaping collective memory and understanding our past. Photography played a pivotal role in social change and activism. Iconic images have stirred emotions, raised awareness, and fueled movements for justice and equality. As we moved into the digital era, photography became an integral part of our daily lives. The rise of social media democratized the image creation, fostering a culture of visual storytelling and self-expression. In conclusion, the evolution of photography isn't just a timeline of technological milestones. It's a profound journey that has shaped how we document, communicate, and express ourselves. It's a visual narrative of our shared history 
and ever-evolving tapestry of cultures and perspectives. So that's it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed the journey through the history of photography. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as we always keep capturing those moments. See you in the next one.